Alright, so this video is going to be on the kind of two-stroke oil that I use. Alright, so I brought down every single bottle except for a couple which are just repeats of these. But I guess we'll start off with AMS oil. It's a synthetic oil. It's fairly thick. They say you can run 100 to 1 ratio with this. It's uh, the Sabre Professional. And uh, it seems to be working fairly well. I've used it in my Toro and in my Leaf Blower. And it seems to be working well. In my Toro, I'm running a 40 to 1 ratio with this. And in my Leaf Blower, which is that Weed Eater brand one, I was curious to see if 100 to 1 would actually work. It doesn't smoke with 100 to 1. But I've been running it for about a week now, and I've been using the blower every day. And I haven't noticed any loss in compression. And I also haven't noticed any anything at all, any problems, nothing. So... I'm not too sure if prolonged use, say if you're using it for multiple years, run at 100 to 1. Um, I'm not too sure if it will cause uh, prolonged problems or um, a uh, short engine lifespan. But as of right now, it seems to be working fairly well. And my leaf blower is actually running a lot better than it used to um, ever since I started using Amsoil. It could be just a coincidence because now I am using AV fuel, which is the 100-130 AV fuel. So I'm not too sure, but it's a good oil. It's a uh, good multi-purpose uh, synthetic two-cycle oil. Um, it'll do the job. Next up is this Castro Grand Prix two-stroke, and uh, it's motorcycle oil. I use this in most of my dirt bikes. Uh, my CR80, I'm using this in right now, and it's really good. It's a conventional oil, so it's good for break-in. Um, I wouldn't recommend any synthetics for break-in, but most of the oils that I use are conventional. So I run this out of 32 to 1 mix in my... Uh, Honda CR80 and in the summertime I'll sometimes run a 16 to 1 ratio um, on a hot summer day because it is air cooled and uh, being said a 16 to 1 mix you guys are probably thinking wow that's uh, really rich way too much oil but like I said in previous videos of the bike I've never fouled a spark plug and when I took it apart as you guys uh, heard me say all I did was replace the ring the piston was completely fine, and I guess that might have been because of my rich ratios. Because normally, a piston and ring, they wear out at the exact same time. So, coincidence? I don't know. But this stuff is good. Um, Quaker State 2-stroke. I've used it in my Toro. It made it idle a little bit lower, and... Uh, seem to be working pretty good but it does burn crude that's the only issue that I don't like about this thing is it really does um, leave a lot of oil around the exhaust and it it's just uh, not the healthiest oil um, for your engine it's probably alright for break-in because it is a conventional and the only issue is it's not very high in detergents but it is NMMA rated and it is TCW3 rated which means you can run it in boats and uh, liquid cooled engines. Um, but it seems to be alright. Would I buy it again? Probably not for the price. This is one uh, liter and well a little bit less than a liter I guess about a quart and it costs about seven dollars a quart so it's uh, not the cheapest oil either and for what it is I I think it's too expensive personally um, next up Valvoline and other conventional oil TCW3 rated NMMA rated as well um, it's a multi-purpose oil and uh, it works very well actually I like this oil a lot it is kind of hard to find there's only one uh, retail place that you can buy it around my area and uh, would I use it all the time um, probably not um, it seems to be very good though as in terms of like the um, uh, the stickiness of the oil like the abrasion of the oil to stick to parts it does very well 
but again it is a crude oil so it, and it does burn crude because it is very low in detergents has no naphtha nothing like that so it does burn quite crudely and uh, leaves some deposits on the engine in long-term use as I've heard um, Next is this Castrol Super 2. Uh, it's very high in detergents, actually. It's got some naphtha in it, and it works really good. I like this a lot for all of my trimmers, and uh, I just really like this oil a lot. It's uh, pretty hefty at 4.99 for a pint, or 1.5 or 1.05 U.S. pints, but it's good stuff. And if you're just using it for your weed whackers, it lasts quite a while. Um, and there's one other company that I'm missing out on here. And I usually have about 5 liters of it on hand. Um, it's Moto Master. It's made by Shell. Sold at Canadian Tire. Made in Canada. Very, very good for motorcycles. Stuff like that. That's actually what I've been running my CR80 on prior to using the Castrol. And it's just a very good oil. And uh, it's uh, conventional. I've actually broken in my Troy Built on it. My Troy Built likes that oil a lot. Um, very good oil. And the reason why I buy it, a liter costs $5.99 average price but if you buy a big jug um, similar to let's say a jug for filling up your car with oil uh, it's a five liter jug and it costs $24.99 so you really do get it for a lot cheaper than you would from other brands um, let's say if you wanted to buy an AMS oil you can buy AMS oil in uh, one gallon which is 3.87 liters but it's gonna cost you forty dollars so you get five liters for twenty four ninety nine plus taxes it comes out to around twenty eight dollars something like that and it isn't too expensive but anyways there's my take on these oils they all seem to be working good my favorites are definitely the castrols the AMS oil is alright Quaker State um, I like it but I don't like it it's just got that kind of like I don't know um, something that you would buy once but you wouldn't buy it again for a while um, Valvoline buy it occasionally when I can um, but as of now Moto Master Castrol and AMS oil are actually my three favorite brands for two cycle oils anyways thanks for watching this video i hope you enjoyed this video please be sure to comment rate and subscribe thanks for watching and once again this was another video by pimpin pens peace out guys